So I've been looking for a long time now for something that's going to automate the drop shipping from Amazon to TikTok shop. I've been a big proponent of this method for pretty much all beginners because in my opinion, Amazon is one of the best, if not the best supplier to start with as a beginner when you're drop shipping on TikTok shop or really a lot of places, right? Not just TikTok shop. The reason being, obviously you have a number like millions and millions of products that you can choose from. So you're not limited to one specific product, one specific niche. You can test a bunch of them very quickly. Obviously you have fast shipping times. You have decent prices. You have high quality listings, right? So you have high quality titles. You have optimized pictures with high quality images already. So you don't need to actually go take your own product images. You have high quality descriptions, So you can use those to format your message in your videos or your listings in a number of different ways. You have a number of review videos on high quality listings already as well. So it's really easy to then take those review videos and use them as a good job jumping off point to get some videos up quickly yourself. And that is just scratching the surface. It's the tip of the iceberg. But in my opinion, Amazon is hands down the best place to start. I still use it to test almost all my products in the beginning to prove the concept because it is so easy rather than using something where I'm going out and trying to find an obscure supplier or somewhere like AliExpress or CJ Dropshipping, which those are decent suppliers. Don't get me wrong, but Amazon has an advantage over them because you can test so many different products with so many different variables a lot faster, it's reliable, great shipping times, etc. The issue with Amazon up until now was that you had to do everything manually, right? There was nothing out there. There was no solution that would automate the Amazon drop shipping to TikTok shop, everything in between it from the listing of the product to connecting that product within your store to then ordering that product, knowing it where the exact URL, the exact supplier is to then inputting the tracking number into your order on TikTok shop and handling all that streamlined automatically for you without you needing to do everything. Up until this point, I have a VA that's done it all for me from the actual listing to obviously creating the videos. Sometimes we outsource those as well to then also processing the orders to then inputting the tracking numbers in those corresponding orders. And we have a detailed spreadsheet month to month that tracks all of that. But you don't need to do that anymore because AutoDS actually just dropped a new release of their software that now integrates with TikTok shop and does all that for you automatically. It is mind blowing. So obviously this is the best place for most beginners to start. And even if you're not a beginner, you should obviously consider this because the ability to drop ship literally almost any Amazon product onto TikTok shop automatically is a game changer for this. So the first step is to obviously just sign up for AutoDS.com. So if you haven't already, click that first link in the description and that's going to take you over to AutoDS, obviously like this, where you can just sign up for an account and putting your email, your name, and obviously choosing a password. Then once you're in the first thing that you're going to want to do, as you can see here is add a store. However, this assumes that you already have a TikTok shop. If you do already have a TikTok shop, then great. We're going to add the store. If you don't, then you actually need to sign up for a TikTok shop. It's very easy. So you just go to business.tiktokshop.com. You click get started. Obviously you're going to say, are you a seller, a creator, a partner, a buyer? In this case, we're opening a TikTok shop. So we're a seller. Then you want to sign up with your email. So let's just put a test email in there for us. Make sure that you do have your country selected, right? So obviously these are the options. I'm in the US, so I make sure to select US. Continue. Input your verification code. So what is it? 248640. Now choose your password. And now we need to run through the prompts of actually setting this up, right? So are you an individual? Do you have a business already? If you do have a business, obviously you want to pick your specific business and then input your EIN. If you're an individual, then register as an individual and input your social. All this is going to be pretty self-explanatory. Just input your business information if you're signing up as a business or your personal information if you're signing up as yourself. Then upload all the documents it asks. So in this case, it's either a passport or a US driver's license. If you're signing up with, you know, Malaysia or the UK, obviously that's going to be something specifically different, but I'm joining in the US. So I just upload my passport or my license, give them all the necessary information for my business, my EIN number, and they typically get back to you within 24 to 48 hours and accept you. Now, if you are having trouble getting approved, whether it's your first application or you've tried to do this multiple times, you are not alone. Okay. So many people face this issue, especially when first starting out. Essentially, the first thing that you want to do is make sure that your information is accurate. You'd be surprised how many people reach out to me and their information has something wrong in there. So just make sure you're going slowly, ensuring that all the information, all the numbers, the obviously the license is visible. It's not blurry and double check that all that information is correct, right? Your name, your address, your social security number, or your business EIN, and all the other details match 100%.
Now, if you are certain that everything is okay, the next thing you want to make sure of is that you are applying from a country that TikTok shop is allowed, right? So if you go through and you select like US or Malaysia or you know, the UK, but you're applying from Bangladesh or Canada or somewhere, obviously, that is not one of those countries, that's going to lead to a significant issue and a rejection of your account if they're detecting it. And even if you're using a VPN, which sometimes does work if you have a good one, they still might detect it. And that could be one of the reasons. So assuming that you're applying from a country where it's allowed, then you just need to really be persistent. If you've been rejected, do not give up, resubmit your application repeatedly. Even if it takes a dozen attempts, I had a shot myself where where I had to apply like 20 times, if I remember, before they finally accepted it without changing anything in the application at all. And the persistence obviously paid off. The reality is these companies that are big, like TikTok or Facebook or Amazon, for example, get thousands, if not tens of thousands of requests daily, and they rely on algorithms and bots to manage a lot of it. So if you get rejected, even a couple times in a row, it can feel like you're automatically getting denied sometimes on subsequent attempts, but that's just because your application isn't being thoroughly reviewed by an actual human. Okay. This issue isn't unique to TikTok. It's common with many of the other big platforms, like I said, Facebook, Amazon, to name a few. The key is to just keep replying until your application gets in front of the right person and passes through the system. And finally, if for whatever reason, after like 20 to 30 attempts over the course of like a week, you still aren't getting accepted, which is hard pressed. Most people that do that eventually do get through. And then at that point, just try to create a new account, apply fresh with that same information. Sometimes for reasons that are unclear to me or probably the big companies themselves, your original application might just hit a snag. So opening a new account and applying with the same details can give you a fresh chance at getting approved. But that's just if you obviously don't get approved. I want to hit that home because typically I get at least one question a day of like, hey, my shop's not approved. What am I doing wrong? Those are the best ways to do it. Just keep applying, make sure that your information is all correct. So now that we've signed up for AutoDS and we've also signed up for TikTok shop, the first thing that we need to do is go back to AutoDS and then add our store here. Now, once you do that, it's going to make you input your actual Shopify store. If you don't have a Shopify store yet, Yet, then you just want to have them create one for you, let AI build it, and that will take you to this page right here in about 30 seconds. Again, remember, we're doing this with TikTok Shop. We're not connecting our Shopify store in this instance, but you do need to do that step just to get to this next page. Now, once you're here, don't worry about signing up for Shopify, obviously. You want to go up to the top left here where you see the little pencil mark next to your store name, click the pencil, and then add store right here. Now you're going to see all the different integrations that AutoDS integrates with. So obviously, you see Shopify, eBay, Amazon, Facebook. Marketplace, Wix, WooCommerce, Etsy, and then there it is, TikTok Shop. So now you want to connect to TikTok Shop and continue, and that's going to let you automatically connect into TikTok Shop once you sign up. So depending on how many products you obviously intend on uploading to AutoDS and automating, if you have under 200 products, which I typically recommend for most people because TikTok Shop, the way it's set up right now, is not something like Facebook Marketplace or you know Poshmark or Mercari or something like that where volume wins. In most cases, it's a small number of high quality products that you have good videos for. So most of you are going to be good starting off with a 1990 plan. Obviously, if that doesn't apply to you, then pick whichever one does apply. You can save a little bit if you just go annually, or if you prefer to pay monthly, you can just toggle over to monthly and then sign up for the trial. You can start for just a buck. Now, the next thing you want to do after you connect your TikTok shop is go to supplier settings and you want to add a new supplier. In this case, it's going to be Amazon. So you see AliExpress is already in there. We're just going to toggle down and find Amazon. There it is. The US warehouse is already selected, but obviously make sure that it's the warehouse selected for your country and then just add the supplier with the recommended settings. And now you've connected your TikTok shop to AutoDS. You've connected the Amazon supplier. The very next step is just download the AutoDS Chrome extension. that's going to help you automatically add Amazon products with the click of a button into your AutoDS store. So the easiest way to get there is just Google AutoDS Chrome extension. That will take you directly to the web store where you can download that. You could also download it within the website. As you can see here, I've downloaded it already. It is completely free if you already have an AutoDS account. Then it's going to look something like this up here in the top right, AutoDS Dropshipping Helper. And now on Amazon listings, once you have it set up and you've downloaded the extension, you will see this import to AutoDS button. You can add any Amazon product in about five minutes. It does you know, take like a few minutes to morph it over and add it to your actual inventory. So assuming that you want to add this product, you would just click import to AutoDS. There you see it kind of flash. And that's how you can tell what product 
products you've already added or ones that are in the process of being added to your store. So obviously this one is, if we go over to this example right here, the dog feeding mat, this one hasn't, it's obviously not flashing, but if we wanted to add this to our store, again, we would just click it, give it about five minutes and then go back into our auto DS. You could look into your products and it should be right there. Again, give it like five minutes or so. And that's how easy it is to add products automatically from Amazon into your AutoDS store, which will then automatically sync up into your TikTok shop as well. And then it's really just the basics of getting sales on TikTok shop where AutoDS is handling all the logistics and backend stuff for you, right? They're processing the orders automatically. They're inputting the tracking numbers automatically. As you can see here, they're keeping track of the actual order on TikTok shop and corresponding and making sure that everything's synced up. They're keeping track of your URL because again, we added them with the actual AutoDS button and Chrome extensions. So they know anytime you add that product and somebody orders that product, they know the exact URL to go back and order it from. They keep track of the customer, the quantity that they ordered, what store it was, right? Was it your Shopify store? Was it your TikTok shop? Was it Facebook Marketplace? Whatever. Obviously, the majority of us are going to be using TikTok shop for this. It also keeps track of how much you spent, each profit for sale. And that way you don't need to actually set up an auto calculating spreadsheet or keep track of any of that information anymore. It's going to save you so much time because it keeps track of it all automatically for you. And then you can just sign into your auto DS dashboard and look down the orders here and see what's gone out already, when, who's received it, who's gotten it delivered, what's shipped, what's still waiting to be shipped, and how much money you've made, as well as how many products or which products specifically have sold and how many times that month. So you can obviously take that information and then double down more on what's working. So this is a game changer, guys. Once you set this up, then you don't need to worry about any of the backend stuff, any of the logistics. You can just focus on getting sales, uploading quality videos or going live or getting affiliates to obviously make sales for you. And you can focus on what actually puts money in your pocket and save all of that extra headache and backend work that used to take hours and hours a day, especially as you scale and just let AutoDS do it all automatically for you. So really hope this helps. Again, AutoDS linked as that first link in the description if you want to try it out. But as always, guys, this is just what works for me. So I really hope it helps.